Hello and welcome. It's so glad to be back. It just seems like forever. I know it has only been a couple of months, but wow, what so much has happened for us in this space in a couple months. So um, my colleagues will be joining me directly and we're here today to talk to you. Hi guys, how are you? And we're just waiting for Ali. We're here today to talk to you in and around the Healing Through Love show. So we're just waiting. Hi, Ali. How are you? Oh, it just seems like forever, doesn't it, guys? Oh, absolutely. Oh, so glad to be back. I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed you guys too. You can see we really enjoy the process, guys. And welcome to the Healing Through Love show. So we're here to increase awareness in, within the community about providing family and domestic violence survivors with a soft place to land and to offer advice on services available to those survivors and their families. Yeah, and we have many local businesses and service people who generously pay it forward at our Pamper Day events, which we hold um, on an annual basis. So each week on this show, what we do is we interview experts and survivors who share their personal stories and also advice um, on those to, to those who have experienced abuse. So ma no matter where you are on your personal journey. Excellent. So glad to have you here in this space. And to kick off this year, what we've decided to do is have a chat about the history here about Healing Through Love, how we got here, what is our big vision, what we're here to do, and how you can be part of our vision and making a soft place to land for those who are survivors of family and domestic violence. Well, it was back in March 2018, I got a phone call from Natasha Olson and uh, I'd, I'd known Natasha for a while. Um, I had a couple of business coaching sessions with her and she was very, very keen because now she's actually working with the Marion Council and they asked each of the people that was working in the leadership program to come up with a project that they could actually do in the community. So she called to say, hey, look, I'm looking, you know how we had that conversation last year about creating a pamper day. We've got someone who wants to support us in this space. Can we catch up and have a conversation? So there was just three of us at the conversation and it was held at the pub. And uh, we, we came up with a concept of how this could work, what it would look like and what we would need to move forward. Well, very, very quickly, and the, well, the conversation lasted several hours, but very, very quickly we realised this was a bit bigger than Ben-Hur and that in order to do this, we're going to need lots of volunteers, we're going to need lots of specialists in different areas. So then the very next phone call I made, in fact, I hadn't even managed to get home, the very first phone call was to Rose Davidson because I've been in Rose's proximity for quite some time working in and around admin and helping her in her space and her helping me in my space. And I'm like, Rose, 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 look, we've got this great idea. It's just right up your alley. This is our vision. What we want to do is create these beautiful pamper days. We're asking members of the community who are in a position to pay it forward and make a difference by offering a service and creating this soft place to land. And what it looks like is like an expo. Yes, and something a little bit more where they'd walk in the door and have an opportunity to get products for free, everything that we could find that we could donate to them and have their own little goodies just to get them in the right space to see that they can actually get things for free and just to see that they can change their self-worth self in that space and then go round the room and experience fantastic things, personal things like hand massages, neck and shoulder massages, their hair done, their makeup done, all of these things that we miss out when we're in that place where it's not safe for us. So we had this great conversation and then Rose came in. So Rose, I'd love you to tell us a little bit more about what happened when you jumped in, which was about April. In yeah, it was about April in 2018 and um, there was just so much to do, um, you know, a web page to make, a Facebook page to make, groups to make, um, to, you know, people to get on board, exhibitors to get on board, paperwork to do and just sourcing volunteers. Uh, it was like, in six weeks, we managed to pull it all off. It was just an amazing, amazing time, but so, so busy. Um, and, you know, so blessed to um, have the the uh, South, uh, the SA Aquatic Centre come on board and allow us to use their venue for the event for that day. And to all the exhibitors who came along, and we had 25, I think, for, for that event, and we had dancing and we had singing and we had speakers. It was just a huge, huge day and uh, it was just an amazing time. And, 
we decided that we could just keep doing them because it was such a success the first time. And so we had one in 2019 and that was at the uh, the Playford Uniting Church. And um, although not quite as successfully attended because I think the weather was um, against us on that day because it was actually pouring with rain. However, the ladies who did attend um, just came to us with um, such warmth and, you know, they, they were hugging us. And this is where Ali came on board because she asked us, could she become part of um, the Healing Through Love movement? And um, I know that Charlene has a, has a beautiful story to tell about one of the uh, ladies who turned up, um, the lady that um, didn't have any hair. And I'd really like you to share that story, Charlene, with us, please, because it oh. it's such a special story of what can happen to somebody, um, excuse me, <laughs> who attends um, our Pamper Day events. Oh, gosh, you know, every time I think of this story, I, I cry and I'm, mm. I'm, I'm just reaching for my tissues <laughs> now, guys. Yeah, sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, it just, uh, it moved us into a completely different direction. So it was very early in the day and uh, I'm sitting down, so my... My history is I'm a beauty consultant, so even though I do other things now, I was doing hand massages in that space. So my table was the very, very first table, and I could see everybody walking in. So I could see Rose greeting everyone beautifully and then giving them the little bag so they can go shopping and all the information they needed and the raffle tickets, and then, and then they walk up to the shop. So the shop is like an op shop. You've got clothes, handbags, shoes, you've got jewellery, makeup, skincare, everything that you could imagine a woman needs is here at the little shop and there she's standing this woman with with no hair she's standing and she's just well she had hair but it was very very short she she's standing there and like a crew cat standing there and just looking at the clothes and looking at the handbags and she was like she was just completely still and she wasn't breathing very well like she was breathing very very shallow and you could just see that there was she was just shaking a little bit because the bag itself was shaking and um, I didn't know what the challenge was, but I just like knew that she was not in a comfortable place. So I came up to her and I nuzzled up next to her like I like to do. And I said, oh, you know, you can come back and go shopping afterwards. Why, why don't you come down? And I've got no one sitting with me. Why don't you come down and I'll give you a hand massage and it'll be heaps of fun. And I took her by the hand and I walked her to my table nice and slowly. I walked her to my table. We sat down and we started the hand massage. So during a hand massage, they said, on one side of the table I sit on the other and we go through and do an exfoliant on their hands and then do a beautiful hand massage with a moisturizing cream so while I had her hand in mine and I'm massaging it we're gently having a conversation and then it becomes a little bit more robust and you know she's got this crew cut hair and I get to the point where I ask her so tell me what was happening for you while you were standing there staring at the shop like I could see that you were frozen and you know and that's why I came up and nuzzled next to you and she said, I just, I just couldn't make a choice. I just, I just didn't know where to start. What, what you need to know is that for the longest time, more than a decade, I haven't been able to make a choice about anything. I haven't been able to make a choice about the underwear I wear. I haven't been able to make a choice about the clothes that I wear, what I eat, where I go. And I, I, I just wasn't able to make a choice. There were just too many choices in front of me. And I, I'm like choking while she's telling me the story. And then she goes on to say that she, her hair has been shaved off for all, for the last, well, more than the last 10 years. So she was completely bald. Um, and that this is the first time, and she was so proud of her very short hair. It's the first time in more than 10 years that she had hair. So she was like looking forward to going over there and seeing what the hairdresser was going to be able to do with her very, very short hair. But it just, it really just, it paints a picture of the help that we supply for these people and the soft place that we create to land for them when these girls have have got nothing they are not they're in a position where they're not given choices and here they are in a beautiful loving environment where they can have their tarot's read they can have their hair done they can have their hands done they can have their makeup done skincare 
all sorts of body healings, including kinesiology and Reiki. And, you know, for them to have all of this, at the end of the day, she went and she was cuddling people to say thank you. And this went from a person who was just frozen to be able to make a decision to a woman who really felt quite comfortable in her skin and quite comfortable to say and speak and, and really let her guard down. So, yeah, every time I tell that story, I have to get tissues. Thanks, Rose, for bringing that one up. So we are the rest of the colleagues back onto the screen now and uh, that gives you an indication. I know, right? They took themselves off because they had to fix their faces up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, Rose, if you can just tell us a little bit more about that uh, that second event and then, yeah, Ali, I'd love to you to tell the story about how you jumped in and what happened. Yeah, the second event, other, um, for, apart from that beautiful story, is um, I don't know, we, we had actually a... Um, um, a minister of religion there and um that was a really um oh a, um a good place for people to go to to um to to you know find their peace i guess and we also had people there from alcoholics anonymous and we had people there from Elnon as well um and this year we will be having um those same people as well as some people from zara um, will be in attendance and we are still looking for someone from human services to come and give some some advice and someone from um, SAPOL too. We, we've had them previously, we had them in our first year um, and our second year and uh, we, um, we are hoping that they'll come along again and because the laws have changed in South Australia since our first and second pamper days as far as, um, you know, the domestic violence laws and, and what perpetrators um are, are not allowed to do anymore um it would be useful for them to come and give a a little talk or, or just be there in that space to just to give some advice to our ladies um and uh, yeah this year we, we're so looking forward to having um a few different types of modalities there i know that a lot of ladies have asked to come on board so um yeah it's going to be a really really exciting time ali now it's your turn could you please, oh, I'm going to turn my head back. <laughs> Could you please tell us, I know that um, in 2019 you were so excited and, and so, um, I don't know, just loved the space so much because I know you come mm -hmm. from the space of domestic violence as well um, and you just loved what was happening. Could you just share with us, please, um, how you, why you wanted to become involved and, and you know, and, and, you know, what you've brought to us because I know it's been a lot. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Rose. Thanks, Shelley. Um, yeah, and, and as you as you like I was thinking, Rose, actually back to the time when when we first met. Um, it was at a, a networking event, and I remember it was in a little coffee shop, and Rose and I just got chatting, and you mentioned to me that you were a supporter of survivors of domestic violence, and, and that conversation alone has not only it's not only led me into what I'm doing now but it, it's it's kind of um, helped with my passion in itself through healing through love and you know we we kind of developed a little bit of a connection so when I saw um, Rose and of course Charlene you and I we met at, a, at an event as well and when I saw that that you ladies were running healing through love um, and this was in 2019 was when I when I saw it I thought to myself um, as a survivor myself um, and it also was someone who who at the time in 2019 I was still very much on my own recovery journey um, from someone who had um, experienced sexual harassment in the workplace so you know it was a another form of abuse if you like so I was very much on a recovery journey from that experience so to attend um, the pamper day at um, at the church in 2019 was not only something for me that that meant so much because of where I was and I'm getting teary as I'm saying this um, it meant so much for me because of where I was in my own life but I could also walk in and I, I witnessed um, so many other beautiful survivors and you know how how you were isn't when you say it's a pamper day it is a pamper day 
Um, I also sat and listened to some speakers that were talking and, you know, they were sharing their own survival journeys. And I just, the whole day through, I just thought I could not help but think I have to get involved somehow, however that might be. Um, you know, whether I come, for me it was whether I come next year as an exhibitor myself, whether I come as a volunteer, however it is, I thought <laughs> I have to be involved. And I, I think I ran up to you at the end, Rose, and I said, I don't know what, I don't know how, but you have, have to, that I have to be involved. Um, I just, you know, please, I think I got to the point where I was begging you, please let me, let me be involved in this somehow next year. So for me, it was uh, a few months, you know, not too long after that. Um, it was in about, I think, September 2019 when you guys um, came to me and you asked if I would like to be involved. And I didn't hesitate because I could, as I said, I could see um, what had happened for the other ladies and I knew um, what, you know, the love behind what, what you ladies were doing. And it was, I didn't hesitate to say, yes, I want to be involved. So uh, I, I feel privileged as the latest member of Healing Through Love um, to, to now, you know, be, be involved. And it is, it's something that, that means a lot to me. And, you know, I, I do this from, as we all do, all three of us, I think, um, you know, Way, hoping you're going to come back on screen in a minute, but I think all three of us um, do this, you know, from from our hearts because, it, you know, we we obviously all have our own stories, and this it just means so much to me. And I love that we get to help the people that we do. Absolutely, it's so Absolutely. true. And uh, oh, I'm crying. <laughs> I know. Oh, I, the reason, guys, why we cry is that each of us individually have our own stories in and around family and domestic violence, and we are survivors. And we have we've trod the journey of the hero, and now we're on another. We're at the other side, and we 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 dedicate our lives to making a difference in this space. So each of us have our own things to do, our own businesses. We're all individually either coaches or like we have fascinating lives outside of all of this. Yes, and in everything that we do every day, we're here to empower people to be everything that they can possibly be. And because we've come from this space ourselves, we have, we know what's possible. We know what's possible. It doesn't matter how bad it is, what the story is, we know that there is hope and and each of us, now I'm going to cry too, and each of us um, are a shining light. I'm going to say it. We're shining lights in this space because we're shining a light for others to move through the process. And, and that is really the core issue here is that the people that we interview, the people that are on this platform with us, the people that come to the event, a large majority of them have either had firsthand experience or in the, in the proximity of it. And they are passionate about making a difference and paying it forward for other people other people and that's why we are so blessed to have this this channel this opportunity not just the be live tv and supported by my time tv but on on top of that to have the pamper days where we can pay it forward to those who need it the most yeah. so we're, we're looking forward to the next event and ali because you've just gone a walk around at the next event could you just tell us a little bit about the location and and, and you know why is this one going to be different than the one before and where is it located that'd be great Sure. Um, I Yeah, I am excited because literally uh, last week I went to 19 on Green at Brompton, which is where we are having our next Pamper Day on May the 22nd on a Saturday. And um, the beautiful Michael Abbott, um, who is my, is the connection with um, 19 on Green, just allowed me to, to go and take a few videos to, to kind of let you know what this space is all about. So the way it differs from um, the, I think it was the Playford um, Community Centre, sorry <laughs> if I got that wrong, uh, the way it differs from the last place we held um, the Pamper Days is it's it's got a few different separated spaces. So it's not one big space. So we've got... We have got um, this whole centre that um, 
that has been donated to us for the day. It is incredible. So if you go um, on to YouTube, on our YouTube channel, you can actually see the video that the beautiful Rose has put together. And you can see that there's a bigger space, there's a fully functioning kitchen in um, which we will be able to provide some morning tea and things like that. There's spaces for um, information services and it, you know, it flows out into this beautiful undercover area where if we, you know, if we need to, um, we can put people out there as well. There is smaller rooms where we can, you know, we can have people who, who might be doing uh, makeup and doing people's hair and maybe hair massages or whatever it might be in a, in a smaller room, but it's still quite a large room. So, you know, thing, things like, um, you know, that, that might just need that, that little bit more um, privacy. There, there's rooms for that as well. So there's a room where we can put people who are maybe doing massage or they might be doing Reiki. Um, there's another, I, I was thinking this through in my bra brain, there's another room where we're going to hold our, our clothing stall, which is going to be um, like corporate clothing. So if you are a lady who, who, you know, you're a survivor who might need an outfit to maybe for a job interview or you have a court date or, or a mediation date or whatever it is that you need an outfit for, we have got shoes we've got clothes we've got jewelry um i just went through a heap of my jewelry and saved it to give away um to donate to healing through love because i just know that um oh i'm getting teary again <laughs> i just know that you know these are things that when you come from that situation um that often we we don't get to hold on to so it is a very, very exciting space. It is all COVID safe, of course. And the beautiful um, Michael, you know, as I said, he works um, for Charles Sturt um, and they are donating this centre to us for the entire day. So we are so very grateful to um, 19 on Green. It is a beautiful, beautiful space. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hello again, Rose. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That was fantastic. That's a great share. I'm so excited. This one is going to be unique because we've got those beautiful rooms that can give you that privacy and still have all of the other fun and exciting things happening. So if you're listening to today, then you're going to fall into one of three categories. And uh, so let me just go through. So either yourself, you are a survivor. Uh, and it doesn't have to be recent. It can be in the past. It, it's still it's still always paying it forward, yes? So if you're a survivor, then we would love to have you attend. Now, the dates is the 22nd of May. It's at 11 a.m. and it goes till 4. So we'd love to have you in that space if you're a survivor. Now, if you're not a survivor yourself but you have a friend or a member of the family that is a survivor, please share the love with them. Let them know about it. The event is on our Facebook page and we can quickly send them, put them on our email list so that we can send them more details as well. So that's number one, survivor, either yourself or friends and family. Number two, two is if you have got a soft spot for this space and you're either a survivor yourself or you have a real deep understanding and a level of compassion for everything in this space we would love for you to be one of our exhibitors we do have a few spots left and we're looking for exhibitors that can provide some type of service now a service can be a broad range of things so a service can be a tarot reading a service can be ministering to somebody a service can be um reiki a service can be kinesiology a service can be chakra aligning a service can be a facial makeup hairdressing nail painting like the service can be anything as long as it's something that the person can have as part of a pampering so we've had people before that have been counselors and yes that wasn't appropriate to put in that space but what they did is they painted people's nails so that's easy. So even if that's not what you do, it's okay. If you've got something that can support this community, then as long as you do some sort of physical activity, then we can have you there as an exhibitor. We had one lady who made candles, beautiful, 
beautiful, ex oh, exquisite candles. Yes, and that wasn't something that she could do as a service. So what she did instead is she did foot baths for people and they soaked their feet in some of her beautiful aromatherapy oils that she uses to create the candles. So look, if you think this might be a place for you and you fit into our second category, which is someone who wants to be an exhibitor and you're not 100% sure, look, reach out to myself, Ali or Rose, and we can just see what you do in your space and how that can relate to what we've got happening on the day. So there's that. We're also, so the third one is an advocate. So if this is a passionate place for you to be and you want to make a difference, then you share our information, share it with people, invite other people and become an advocate of us in this space. And the other one, which I probably didn't mention, is actually jumping on and being interviewed. So even if you're not local, even if you're anywhere else in the world, you can still jump on this space here and share an opportunity with us once a week at Tuesday at lunchtime or Tuesday lunchtime, Adelaide time. <laughs> there, and you can be our lunchtime guest and we can interview you in the space of what it is that you do for your community to make a difference and share tips and techniques and strategies around becoming a survivor and how to move into that space. And we would love to share this opportunity with you. So again, contact us, either one of us here or reach out to our Facebook page and we would love to interview you in this space. And uh, yeah, we, it would be a blessing and a joy to have you. So uh, girls, I think that we're almost done. We've, uh, we've had a fabulous time together. Look at us. We chat, 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 chat. Yeah, I've posted the links to um, the YouTube video so people can have a, a look and see what the space is like. I've also posted a link for the attendee registrations, which are on Eventbrite. And I've also posted our um, email address. So if people want to reach out to us through our email address, then they can do that as well. Can I just do a little brief commercial break, Rose? You can. <laughs> Guys, if... If you want to be in this space and you're really keen on being interviewed, but the whole concept of being interviewed live just scares the bejeevers out of you on every level, that's okay. I get that. And we're all smiling because we get it too. <laughs> and we're laughing in fact, because we remember what it was like beforehand. Guys, um, I run a regular weekly program um, for mastering communication for video and teach you great tools and techniques. I know Ali's been and Rose has been. It's a great 90 minutes. You learn heaps. It's free. Um, so just find that. We post it everywhere. Come along and be our guest and, um, and just enjoy the process of learning how to present to camera because it will make you feel more comfortable and it will also, if you're running a business, it will definitely help you in your business space. Is that everything, Rose? I think so. I think we're just about to wrap up. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just wanted to do oh, I love you all. I want to miss you. I miss you. I hate being in a different state than you. It's not the same. <sighs> That's okay. Uh, my plan is to come to Tasmania very soon. I know. I'm, I'm for looking COVID. forward to it. <laughs> I know because we have plans. We do have plans. <laughs> Guys, it's been a wonderful occasion. We want to give a special thanks to our sponsors. So our sponsors are My Time TV through the Be Live app, and we could not do this without them. If you're looking for a live streaming application, it is the best one to use. It is so simple. It's like Canva, but more fun with movable parts. So if you're looking for a live streaming app, it's definitely the one to use. And My Time TV is the place to broadcast. Definitely is. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I want to thank you to our sponsors and to you two lovely ladies for joining us and being just being you. I miss you. So glad to be back here in love with All you. All right. Till next week, everyone. Have a have a great week and we I'll talk to you again soon, ladies. You've got this. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>